Okay, here's a little bit of analogy. Um, life is kind of like uh, being the coach of your own sports ball team. Uh, before you become the head coach, you're in charge of your life and full of your decision. You're usually kind of like the assistant coach or just kind of they're observing, mentoring, maybe it's long mentorship, like 18 years or so. Some people get out a little bit earlier. But anyways, the point is, you take this knowledge and you instill it to, of what you're guided and directed to do. And then you learn um, what you like and what you don't like. Now, when you're head of the team, you're going to be able to make decisions and choices that are your own. But my point of this whole thing is there will be people that will never be on your team. There will be people that will never be rooting for you. They will just be there because they're spectators. Sometimes they're spectators that are note collectors and they're just there to collect information to see how they can one-up you or how they can incorporate your moves into their life. You know, and that's okay. And it is okay to remove those people and set boundaries. But you have to stand firm on them. Um, I'm the only one who's singer, songwriter, drag maintainer, cosmetologist, uh, songwriter, cosmetologist, spiritualist. I can't even feel funny who will be energy change me, and you can be finding any evil eye. Uh, Elon and Trinity had a message uh, for you from Spirit. Alrighty, let's see what's going on. First thing we got out is the Three of Swords in Reverse. Anything else you need to know, Spirit? Three of Swords in Reverse. Um, and that is make yourself talk, releasing pain. So you're getting out of the situation when people just haven't been respectful of your boundaries. Um, you're coming into a wish come true, uh, some kind of emotional stability. Uh, you may have been in a worry state or defeat or in this mental um, lack mindset, but you're coming out of that. You're stepping into this love. Um, look, this Ace of Cups came out with this Queen of Cups. So you're stepping into this like love, compassion, of these new feelings. It could be a, a marriage proposal, um, and you're um, going into this Queen of Cups energy, or coming into this Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, this is turned into a love reading. So just be weary that while you're on this team or coming into the union with this team, um, they're going to be spectators that are going to be gagging, trying to have what you have, and that's okay. But this is for you. This is divine love. Like nobody can take this from you, destroy this from you. Spirit, can I just have a card of information for you for another time? All right, guys, get outside. Drink some water. Uh, have a great day. Smiling for you, boo. Devil, some shadow work.